Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley Sharice here and today is July 20th and I'm, it's 7.15 in the morning and I'm about to go to food pantry at my church. Um, why am I vlogging? Because I was supposed to start a vlog like, I don't know, I was supposed to start it for a few days and I have not started it so I'm just um, starting the vlog right now but I'm not gonna vlog the food pantry. Of course, because that's not anything to vlog. But look at my nails. Cute. But yeah, I'm not going to vlog the food pantry. But I just wanted to start the vlog. So we started it. And I do want to show you guys my hair. But I'm not going to do that yet either. I need to go brush my teeth and wash my face. But I will see you guys once I'm done with that so you can see my hair. Hey, you guys. It's Ashley Sharice here. I don't even know if this is a new vlog. I literally just wanted to come on here and say hello because I haven't vlogged in a while and I kind of wanted to like come and talk and I'm using my Sony camera for this vlog because I don't know I just wanted to but I'm currently clocked in for work it's 802 in the morning if you want to see 802 so uh, yeah I'm just sitting here just clocked in but what i came on here to say was y'all i think i'm gonna go to cosmetology school and it's a whole story that i would have to tell you guys later i like wonder if i could tell you guys now so i think i can so i have been wanting to leave my job that i'm currently at for a while now but i have always been someone that has been interested in law and there's also something that I believe that God wants me to do, um, a passion that I feel like he's placed on my heart. So I've always thought that whatever job I did after this one that I'm currently at would be something directly associated with the dream, the passion that God has given me or the business that God has given me to start. But then I was talking to my sister one day about like two weeks ago or so she was like did i ask god what he wants me to do and it's not even that i purposely did not ask god exactly what he wants for me to do but i kind of assumed if god gave me this business then of course whatever job i do after the one that i currently have is going to be something that is directly going along with the business that he gave me. So I made an assumption and I assumed what God wanted me to do and I didn't even directly ask him. So after she told me that, I went and I asked God and I just was asking God for days and days and days. I'm like, Lord, what career path, what do you want me to do after, like, aside from this job, when I leave this job, what do you want me to do? And then I also said to the Lord that I wanted him to give me a hobby, something that I really enjoy, that I can make money from. And literally the Lord did exactly that. I've always been interested in doing hair and I've always loved doing my own hair. Really silk presses is what I love to do on my own hair. And I really love watching videos of people do silk presses, quick weaves, sew-ins. I love that and I'm like thinking that oh it was just something that I like to watch and I kind of thought about cosmetology for a while but I would never say that out loud because I've always been the person that was interested in law and nothing else but anyways God really started to highlight cosmetology to me and I'm like okay Lord is this what you want me to do so I just started looking at cosmetology schools in my area and yeah i haven't made any like final decisions i haven't applied anywhere or anything but i kind of just say all that to of course give an update about my life and where i'm at but also just to say make sure you really consult the lord with your career with you know relationships with anything, make sure you really consult the Lord and ask him what it is that he wants for you to do. Because oftentimes, like I did, we try to make assumptions for the Lord and assume that we know 
what he wants us to do we assume that we know his will just because he gave us this one instruction when it's like you don't know how god will get you to achieve the goal that he has given to you it may not be down the exact path that you think it's going to be just because you think that that's the path that it should be so really consult with god because this for example the Lord can have you do something that isn't even related to the business or the job or the career path that he gave to you so that you can have the funds or the means to be able to start the business that he gave you. He can have you do something else first. Like I remember my pastor on July 28th, um, I'm pretty sure it was the 28th, we had um, the Sunday morning service. I just want to make sure it was the 28th. It was the 28th, July 28th. He, we had the Sunday morning service and he had said that he had told this story about a man that asked God to, um, I want to read it exactly. I don't want to. So, um, there was a man who asked God to give him a way to help bless missions. So that means, uh, he told the story that the man asked God to help him, you know, have the funds to be able to bless missions and if you don't know what missions is that's people that go to other countries and spread the gospel so god ultimately ended up giving him a business or a job something that helped him be able to have funds that he could donate to missions so it's just like god will make a way when there seems like there's no way god will have you do something to help you go in the direction that he wants you to go into but just don't make your own assumptions and really consult the lord in all that you do but i just wanted to say that and i don't know maybe i'll see you guys tomorrow um or later today i really don't know i don't like have any plans to go anywhere or do anything so i don't know when i'm gonna see y'all So my camera is currently dead, so I wanted to continue the vlog um, from the other day, but my camera's dead. Like I said, I'm actually, I'm on my lunch break right now. I'm actually trying to get um, dressed. Pick out my outfit really for tonight because we have a game night at my church tonight and I'm trying to pick out my outfit. I really do not know what I'm gonna wear. It's 89 degrees. And of course the game night is at seven, but I want to leave the house right after work so I can go to TJ Maxx. Hopefully I feel like going once work is over. I'm pretty sure I still am going to, but I think I'm just going to wear some, um, I think I'm just going to wear some jeans and a shirt, but the difficult part is the shirt because I need, I need new shirts. I feel like I don't have shirts that I really like. Yeah, I feel like I just have plain shirts. I just don't have cute things, I feel like. Cute shirts, I don't have. Unless I'm wearing a shirt that's like for church. But I think I may wear this. Mm. Yeah, I think I may wear this. And I can put, uh, I can just bring a jean jacket in case I get cold. But I think that's what I'm gonna wear. And then for pants, for pants, I don't know what these, these pants go with it, but they're kind of long and kind of thick. And it's 89 degrees outside, and I think that that is really hot. I don't know what pants I'm going to go with, but I'll come back when I'm dressed, and I'll show you guys what the outfit looks like. But I let me just tell y'all this really quick, because this is the whole reason why I even put to record on my phone. So I just wanted to tell you guys, you guys know that I said um, in the other clip how... You know, I want a new job, this is that, and a third. But I literally have been hearing for the past few days about just being grateful, being thankful for where I'm at. Because it's like complaining and saying like, oh, I hate this job, oh, I don't like this, I don't want to do this. That's not going to make the time go by any faster. That's not going to make you, you know, out of the job any faster. Like, if you're not quitting the job and you know you're not going to quit the job, you're just making it worse for yourself. So it's just like, just keep being grateful. Just keep being thankful for the place that God has you in, for the job that he has given you. Because when you think about it, think about it like you're doing this unto the glory of the Lord. Because my pastor said that um, 
on church on Wednesday, he said to just do everything unto the glory of God. Do everything unto his glory because then it's like you're not working for this law firm or this hospital or this dentist's office. You're working for the Lord because he put you in that job if you're following his will for your life. He put you there. So just be grateful, be thankful, do it unto him. And I heard that twice. So I just wanted to share that. Just do everything unto his glory because then you can't be mad. And even if you catch yourself, catch yourself, okay? Hey guys so it's two days later it's sunday and i just want to show you guys how i look for church today i did a twist out on my hair so this is how it came out and just remember you're always your own worst critic like you're always going to tell yourself something looks bad before you're like oh girl this looks great and you need to change that mindset you need to have a better like we need to think better about ourselves and not always think the worst about our clothes our hair our whatever before we think the best but yeah i'm wearing a blazer today with some jeans and i don't have my shoes on yet but they're gonna be some platform converse <laughs> so hey you guys um it is the next day and i'm on my lunch break i feel like i always vlog when i'm on my lunch break or working period but anyways i go to visit the cosmetology school today i don't know if the lighting is great but i go to visit the cosmetology school today and i'm excited the air conditioner is on so that is what the background noise is but i go to visit the school today like i said and i'm excited i go at six o'clock um, and i'm going with a friend because she's thinking about going to cosmetology school as well so yeah i just picked out my outfit though um i keep saying um because i'm trying to figure out what exactly i picked this up for i think i just picked it up just to tell you guys that i'm going to the cosmetology school today to visit this is literally just a walkthrough and this is the only way that you can get questions answered so yeah i need to remember to also write down the questions that i want to ask beforehand even though I basically remember them because it's really only like I have more than two questions but I feel like many of them may probably get answered during the tour so yeah but I don't know if I'll vlog during the tour I'll probably do what I can if I think to maybe maybe not I don't know but anyways yeah I'm about to you know try to get a little ready I guess I really want to take this sewing out I don't know if you guys knew that this was a sewing, but yeah, it's a sewing. And I want to take it out, but I'm going to wear a hat today to go to, um, it's either going to be a hat or it's going to be a headband. Either way, I just want to take this out so I can just do a silk press on my hair and I can just feel good about my hair again because I just don't feel good about my hair. Like I'm just over it and my mom is telling me to stick with it and not take it out yet. But look, y'all, I can't keep doing this. I can't. I'm too old to be walking around with my hair undone. And I'm struggling to keep up with this. I'm not going to throw the hair away, though, because I can use it again. But I'm just over it for now. I don't think we want to do this anymore. But yeah, y'all, I'll see y'all later. A million times better, because I'm like, I know my phone has better camera quality than what's being shown i'm like i know this is not the fullest extent of the quality but anyways now we're back so it is the same day i'm transporting clips to my ipad so that's why i'm filming on my phone but i went to tj maxx yesterday wanted to do a little quick tj maxx haul so i got these reeboks they literally look like the adidas sambas and i think they're so cute but they're too small so i have to go back and hope pray that they have my size but this is what they look like the back the side front super cute 
but let's hope and pray that they have my size when I go back. Uh, I'm gonna try to go back this week. So then I also got this little vest. Um, I think it's really cute. I've been seeing a lot of people wearing these and I like the way people style them. I'm trying to decide if I wanna keep it because I like it, but I kind of wanted one that I could wear as a shirt. And this one is not that, but I also did want one that I could wear in the fall with like a long sleeve shirt and then something else. So I probably will keep it. I just know for sure that I'm gonna return the shoes because obviously they don't fit. And then I got this matching knit set. I think it's really cute because you can mix and match pieces when you have a two piece set. And the quality of this top is really, really good. It's really thick quality. So I just got it for the fall because I feel like I'm always getting my fall pieces from Shein and yes some of Shein stuff is good quality but I personally feel like majority of their things are kind of low quality especially their knit sets you don't get thick knit sets from Shein so I'm, I'm honestly gonna go back to TJ Maxx though but the pants look like this I'm trying to show them as best as I can they're flare um and I just think these this is a good set to wear together to wear separately but I am gonna go back to TJ Maxx because they had a lot of cute fall stuff i know that they didn't have all of their fall clothes out because it's still august but i know that they will have cuter stuff as it gets deeper into the fall time and i'm gonna go back because i just know that i know that i know but i feel like i want to start getting stuff from there instead of shein even though i probably will get things from shein as well i just feel like you can get higher quality pieces and i kind of want that but I'm about to clock back on for work. Um, I'm going to go to tour the school. And then when I get back home, I may try to film like a clean with me because I need to clean my room. So come back. Let's just say yes, I'm going to film the clean with me after I come back from the school. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to film anything, but I'll either see you guys at the school or while i'm cleaning hey you guys so i'm in the car i'm picking up my friend that's coming with me to the uh beauty school but i don't like my hair like i just put it in these two ponytails but i'm taking it out tonight because i can no longer do this i can't do it anymore but i just decided to wear this black shirt and i have on these jeans and then i have on my black vapor max but I'm not going to vlog myself that much because my hair looks a mess. So I'll just see y'all if I decide to vlog anything at the school. I pray I don't get copyrighted for this. But anyways, my sister just took the sewing out for me. I'm about to take these little braids out. Um, Yeah, I needed that out, y'all. I just cannot. I needed that out. I'm not, I'm not going to say because I keep saying that I will never get a sewing again. And then it'd be like, here I am with another sewing so we're not gonna say i'll never get a sewing again but i literally always say i'll never get a sewing again once we get to this takedown process because in my opinion the takedown process of a sewing is just horrible like i don't like it at all but i'm not gonna say never because i may get another sewing again but my aunt added fake hair into my hair when she did the cornrows so that's the hair that you see i don't want y'all thinking my hair is coming out because it ain't yeah y'all but i needed it out because i need to refresh my hair i need my hair to be good again so yeah y'all so i took well i combed my hair y'all saw in the last clip took my braids out sorry that this vlog keeps switching from my phone to my camera but it's just i vlog with whatever is nearest to me at the moment and i only have my phone at that moment but i just wanted to say um this is gonna be really quick this is not a long thing i just wanted to say that not complaining and be it being active about not complaining and the fact that you're doing it for the lord really helps like i have for the past few, like Friday, really it's been like Thursday, Friday, and today, which is Monday. I have actively 
not complain. I have actively not complained. If I find myself about to say something, I catch myself and I am doing this for the glory of the Lord. Because the Lord does not want to hear me complaining, complaining, complaining all day about what he blessed me with. You know? So, it really has been helping. And it honestly is making my work experience a little bit more enjoyable. Like, I still don't want to work there and do what I'm doing. But it makes it a little bit more enjoyable when you're not complaining the entire time. So, you know, I actually did enjoy my work day. Today was busy, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. And I just want to say that. So, if you're still complaining, stop complaining. And like I said in a few clips ago... Catch yourself. Like, if you catch yourself, catch yourself, okay? Because not complaining really helps. And that's all I got to say about that. But, yeah, I am about to do me. And I'll see y'all probably tomorrow. I'm not going to, I don't know. I may come back because I want to order some hair products. But I may not even show y'all. I may just show y'all when I eventually get them. But I am going to do my hair in this video. So, I think I'll just come back and show you guys when I do my hair and, yeah. And I did not clean my room today because I came back from the cosmetology school. I didn't even tell y'all about that. I think I'm going to tell y'all about that tomorrow, though. But, came back from the cosmetology school at 7 o'clock. It's 9.59. I came back at 7 o'clock. Yeah, y'all. I'm sad. But, see y'all tomorrow or the next day or the next day. I don't know. So y'all, it's the next day, and I just came on here because I wanted to talk to you guys really quick. I'm currently on my lunch break, though, and I've been working in my room the past week because I've been watching TV while I'm working, but also, I just haven't been feeling like sitting in that other room um, at the desk. So yeah, I've just been sitting in my room this week, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about something, and this camera battery... It's not about to die, but anyways, my birthday's coming up September 9th, and I am having a little party, and I invited people to the party, but I'm thinking about unextending the invite, like just saying that I'm going to have just family there, and instead just having like four people that I invited come, and that's just because, I don't know. Uh, most people haven't well I didn't even invite a lot of people that's for one so poor people is really like mainly what I invited I guess you could say like in total I probably invited 10 people and maybe not even 10 I don't know but it's like either 10 or less than 10 but anyways there are two people that already said that they're coming and I still want to invite them and then there's two other people, technically three people said they were coming. But there's also one person that I know that I would like to have them there. But um, I just want to unextend the invite just because, I don't know, you can tell yourself, oh, you won't care if so-and-so doesn't come or if these people don't come. But I feel like in the back of your mind for your birthday, you always are somewhat bothered if people that you invited don't show up and I also don't want to rely on people for my birthday and I was talking to the Lord today and I'm just clocking back into work right now so that's why I'm looking away but I was talking to the Lord today and I realized that I really try my hardest not to have to rely on others uh, because I personally do not feel like they're going to be there for me aside from my family members really the Lord and my family members, I don't expect for people outside of that to be there for me. And that's just because people are flaky. People are not going to be there for you when you need them. And I really don't have 
the best like track record I guess you could say of people being there for me when I needed them aside from the Lord and my family members so it's just like I would rather just not kind of expect for people to be there for my birthday I just want to make my birthday the best that it can be myself that's why I honestly like to do a lot of things by myself because I just feel like people are not going to be there for me and then if they are I just kind of feel like they're going to mess it up because that's just what I experienced in the past and I felt as though I had for the most part healed from that and I still feel like I am. I just feel like I haven't run into people that have proved that wrong but that's not to say that I have a hard time trusting people or opening up to people because I don't but when it comes to my birthday I'm all hands on deck and I will not let anyone ruin my birthday because for example last year and I realized that I never spoke about it in my birthday vlog last year because I just felt like it was irrelevant but I just want to say this so last year I had a birthday dinner everyone said that they were able to come and I invited like seven eight ladies and they all said that they were able to come and then the day of no it was either the day of or the day before all like literally all of them except for two text and say that they cannot make it and I was upset because I just personally felt like they knew if they could make it sooner than that and you agreed and I don't know I just it is what it is though honestly like I don't hold it against them I have, have obviously forgiven those people and it is what it is but I just know to never rely on others for your birthday and I am going to be doing my hair in this video okay I'm about to do it once I clock out of work. We're going to wash my hair. We're going to do a little FOG treatment because I need to buy my new hair products. I have not bought them yet. I tried to buy them this morning and my phone, Amazon was not letting me. But anyways, I'm going to buy those new products when I do my hair for my birthday. But I'm going to do my hair once work is over. And I'll show you guys that. I'm not going to show me washing it and stuff. I'll just show you guys me doing the silk press. But anyways, I'll see y'all when I start that. Hey you guys, so I'm about to blow dry my hair. I just wanted to show you guys the products that I use to do that. Um, well, I'm saying the products with an S and it's just one product. I just use the Chi Heat Protectant. I know this is probably not the best. I probably need to start using other products for my hair, but as of right now, when I do my silk presses, I just use the chi. Show you guys what my blow dry looks like after. So the air conditioner is on now, but this is my blow dry and yeah. Um, this is what I put in my hair after I blow dry. It's the silk, it's the chi silk infusion. So I put this in my hair and then I start by ironing. Um, and yeah, so I'll show you guys, let me put it in with you guys so y'all can see what it looks like i have nowhere to put y'all so i'm gonna put it in i kind of put like i kind of put like y'all can't even see but kind of like a little bit less than a quarter size a little bit less than a quarter size but more than a nickel size of the silk infusion you don't need a lot because you don't want your hair to be stiff um i want to show you guys what i use to chase my hair so this is the flat iron that i used got it from macy's and i've had it for like almost two years now but i use this brush to chase as i go down my hair with the flat iron and it works every time so let's get started y'all I'm not gonna record the whole thing I'll just see y'all at the end but this is how it looks see nice and silky flowy 
but I am gonna be curling my hair so when y'all see it at the end it'll be curly because I'm about to curl this piece right now but I'll see y'all at the end hey you guys so this is my hair silk press this is how I did the curling this was way more curly but I'm trying to get it to match this side because I didn't curl this side the same way that I curled this side but this is my hair I really like it this is a better angle I guess I don't even know but I like it think it's cute and everything I'm trying to get you guys to see the curls because it kind of looks like nothing from a distance but you see the silky disc like get you the chi products so you can do your hair because the chi products literally they're they work magic they work wonders but anyways my hair is done and this is the end of the video i knew that i was going to end the video after i finished my hair so i hope you guys did enjoy this video please like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye okay you guys so i just decided to do an audio message because this video was already long enough and i didn't want to be on camera so i just wanted to tell you guys that i'm actually not going to cosmetology school and you guys may be like so why did i keep that those parts of the video inside of the video but i just think that it's important to be real and honest and truthful and i was going to delete the clips from the video but i'm like i just want you guys to see that this is what it is really like i'm 22 years old and i am still learning i'm still growing i do still really like cosmetology but i don't believe i'm not going to go to cosmetology school i don't even have to say i don't believe i'm not going to cosmetology school and i'm not going to say that i heard the lord the lord wrong because i believe that he did you know say certain things to me but probably not about cosmetology but i think that i wanted this to stay in because i just wanted to show that it is okay we are human we're not always going to get everything right and it's like at least i figured out that that wasn't the next step that the lord wanted me to take before i actually you know enrolled into school and started the entire process so I just wanted to leave this in to let you guys know that it's okay to not have it all figured out. It is okay. But give yourself the grace. And I also want to say that you're also not always going to know for sure, for sure, for sure. Like you can have all the confirmations that you think and you're still going to wonder, is this the right thing for me to do? But I believe that the Lord wants us to step out on faith and just believe in him. Just believe that if I take this next, next step, that the Lord is with me regardless. So I just want to say that because especially nowadays, people are always speaking about confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. You can get confirmation and you should have confirmation, but you're still going to probably have some doubt in there probably have to wonder is this really what i'm supposed to do but the lord wants us to trust him and step out on faith because literally everything in life is stepping out on faith so i do hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next video love you guys bye bye